Good evening, everyone. This is one of the few services I could say good evening, you know. It's only in December, isn't it? Um, Body Day and New Year's Eve service. That's the only service we have in nighttime. And um, I'm glad to see you here today. And, um, you know, I'm really impressed by the work by Mayu Chang and uh, Mika Chang. Yeah, I'm sorry for those who are watching the video on YouTube. You cannot see the, you know, paintings, but it's really amazing. I have no talent of drawing pictures, so yeah, I'm so impressed. And good job, great job. And today, I want to make my talk short, so you can go downstairs and eat. <laughs> but um, today is the actual day of Body Day, right? We usually have body day service on the evening of closest Saturday to December 8th. And do you know when the next body day service we are able to hold on Saturday, the December 8th? Now you have smartphones so you can look at it, right? <laughs> but that'll be 2029. So I will be 49 years old. Aoi will be 17. Hikaru will be 13 years old. I don't ask me for the Namiko's age. I don't say. <laughs> but that makes me feel how rare to have the body day service on exact day of Shakyamuni Buddha's awakening. Of course, we are here to celebrate the awakening of Buddha. The most important thing is that Shakyamuni Buddha shared the teaching with the others. You know, if someone passes the exam to be the physician and don't see the patient, what's the point, right? Of course, um, it's great that person, uh, he or she became physician, but it's meaningless for the other people if he or she doesn't see the patients. So if Shakyamuni Buddha did not share the teaching, we did not appreciate for him, appreciate him for the teaching. But because Shakyamuni Buddha shared the teaching, we are able to be here today as Buddhist. So this year, and as the theme for this year's uh, Bodhi Day service, so I chose the community as the uh, theme for uh, this service. And when we look at the word community, we realize that it could be divided into two words, calm and unity. Calm means with, together, jointly, and all together. Unity means the state of being united or joined as a whole. So when we say, we do things together. What does it mean? When we say we do things together, what does it mean? Are you meditating? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there's not only one person, right? We have more than two people and do things together. How about the word all together? What does it mean? Everybody. Yeah, everybody. So it means including everyone or everything. That's all together. Okay, next one. <laughs> the word united, united. What does it mean? Yeah, together. So it means join together for a common purpose or by common feeling. That's what united means. So regardless of belief, races, ethnicities, or colors, we are all human beings who probably have common purpose or common feelings. And I believe that is to live peacefully, isn't it? Of course, there are, uh, there are always exceptions that some people might want to fight against each other, but human as a whole, 
we all look for peace. And the word Sangha, we often use the word Sangha, right? Is often referred as Samaga Sangha in Sanskrit. It means a group of people who implement peace. A group of people who implement peace. Okay? So the final question, what does the word peace mean? Peace. <laughs> Yeah. No conflict. So I found three meanings from the dictionary. Okay. Tranquility. Tranquility. Mental or emotional calm. And a state or a period in which there is no war or a war has ended. Okay. One more time. Tranquility mental or emotional calm, a state or a period in which there is no war or war has ended. So this is the definition of peace according to the dictionary. And according to the logic of Buddhism teaching, if we all have tranquility or mental emotional calm, there will be no wars. So we need to seek for the tranquility or mental emotional calm of self. To achieve these, there might be many paths. Some do meditation, some do prayer. But our tradition, we receive the Buddha's wisdom as Nembutsu, Namo Amida Butsu, and reflect on ourselves to re examine our daily action to achieve mental, emotional calm. But some people might think that there's war already happening everywhere in the world. We Buddhists cannot say that the people in the war zone needs to have tranquility or emotional mental calm. In this case, I believe we all, including government, need to make efforts to put an end to the war with nonviolent way. You know, starting from there, and then we can nurture tranquility or mental emotional calm that leads to the peace around the world. Okay, so on this occasion of Bodhi Day, Day of Awakening of Shakyamuni Buddha, we appreciate Buddha for sharing the teaching, which is still alive in this world, even though more than 2,500 years passed since the awakening of the Buddha. And we live with the teaching to achieve tranquility of ourselves and the others. Okay? So thank you all for coming to today's service. And in closing, please join me in Gashio. Please put your palms together. Those who have been born first guide those who come later. And those who are born later join those who are born before. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Naman Butsu. Naman Butsu.